Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Debbie. Today, I chose the story, Be Kind, Be Brave, Be You. I chose this story because this past Friday, November 13th, was World Kindness Day, and this book talks about being kind. But before we get started, let's go over the parts of the book. This is the front cover of the book. On the front cover, we usually find the title of the book, and on this cover, these will be the characters that will be in our story. This is called the back cover of the book. On the back cover of the book, you find a brief description of what the book might be about. And on this book, there's some characters as well. This is called the spine of the book. The spine of the book is what holds the book together. On this one, it has the title of the book. Some spines do, some spines don't. Every book has an author. The author is the person who writes the words in the story. The author of this book is Elizabeth Dennis Barton. Every book also has an illustrator. An illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the book. The illustrator of this book is Scott Geralds. Let's go into the story and find out what it's about. Be kind, be brave, be you. Be kind. If you say something kind or do something nice, then you'll make someone's day without thinking twice. So he brought him the, the dog the food. So he was being kind and he was giving him some snuggles. Give a gift from the heart and then you will see. Being kind may take time, but the cost is free. So when you give a gift, give it because you want to, not because you want it back. When you ask for five cents, it is kind to say please. And please share your scarf so your friend doesn't freeze. So she's selling lemonade, so she wanted some. And she asked her how much, and she said five cents, please. Remember a couple of books back, we spoke about please and thank you and how important it is to always use those two words. Be kind to your friends when they want to learn. You might even get a big hug in return. So he was helping his friends because his friend was having a little problem learning. And then his friend hugs him to say thank you. Be brave. It's tough to be brave when you're high in the sky. It's true you may flop, but you might also fly. So he was brave and he was thinking about it. He wasn't so brave. Just like we're on Zoom and some people want to raise their hands and some are afraid to. It's okay. You can always be brave and it's okay to go first. Just take a deep breath. We know you can do it. If you think you can run, you can run right through it. So it's okay to be brave. Sometimes you may think you can't do something, but then you get really brave. You do it, and you find that you can do it. <clears throat> be brave and speak up. Defend what is good. Use the voice, make a sign, and be understood. So they wanted to make sure that everybody knew to be kind, to be brave, and to be you. Be you. Be true to yourself. It's the one job you got. So dance with your heart. Swing waltz or the box. See? You just have to be happy and be yourself. Never try to be someone else. Do you love the cool hat? Then start with the trend. Want to find your own path? Choose one with a bend. See, they're all different. They have different hats. Some are small, some are big, but they're all beautiful. He was a little afraid to go down a path, so he helped him. And he told him to be himself. Go sing in the rain if it makes you smile. The only one you. There's only one you. You have your own style. There's only one you. Everyone is different. So take this to heart. The best thing you can do is be the kindest, the bravest, the most wonderful you. The end. We are 
all different. We are all ourselves. You need to be kind. Always say please and thank you. If you think you can't do something, always try and be brave. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a wonderful day.